Okay, let's see here. Flashlight. Check. Whoopee cushion. Check. Donuts. Check. Of course. Dino remote control. Andy, did you bring the dino remote control? Yeah, I'm sure I brought it. No, I think you should go back to the RV and check. Fine. We may need it. Making Andy mad. Check. What's up for the Donut drink anyway. Donut drink, sure. But don't forget the Dino remote control! Donut drink. Get my Dino drink and AJ's Dino remote control. What are you coming here for? Dino remote control! Alright! Dino remote control. Dino remote. Let's see. <laughs> That's not it, but we could use it. Ooh. Extra, just in case. Dino remote. Dino remote. Dino remote. Where would I be? Dino remote. That is not you. Oh, let's see. Oh, perfect. Oh. Donut drink. Dino dinner. <laughs> More like Andy's lunch. <laughs> That's delicious! <laughs> mm. Back to work. Dino remote, I got the dino remote. <laughs> Look what I found! Your dino remote that we're probably not gonna use. Let's go. Uh, you're looking a little green there, Park Ranger. Are you feeling okay? Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm not sure about that donut drink. Donut drink? Park Ranger Andy, that was Dino DNA! Dino DNA what? Dino DNA! One sip will turn you into a dinosaur! How much did you drink? Uh, the whole beaker? The whole thing? Why would you even drink anything from a beaker? I was parched from all those donuts! I was afraid of that. The dino reversal serum is our only hope. If you don't drink the serum in the next five minutes, you'll stay a dino forever. Well, well, we better go. Stay right here. I'm going to be right back with the serum. The serum! Okay, the serum, the serum. If I was serum, where would I be? Yeah, I don't know.
Mystery drinks. Okay, okay, give it to me. Wow. Well, it's a good thing we caught it before it turned into a dinosaur. Yeah, definitely a good thing. You know, Park Ranger, we learned a valuable lesson today. Always be prepared. And let this be another Park Ranger lesson. Never drink mysterious liquids out of mysterious containers. You said it. Lesson learned. You know, we never tested that serum before. I'm glad it worked. Oh yeah, it worked perfectly. with the legend of the Harupa Mountain Mammoth? No, what is it? They say a mammoth named Eddie guards this very valley and brings luck to anyone who finds him. Should we go look? Yeah! Yeah, let's go! Dino challenge, which one? Oh, please, try Ceratops. What's this one? Pterodactyl or Pteranodon. Looks like he had a rough night. 
got Metrodon. <laughs> Ankylosaurus! Pretty good. Taurosaurus. Triceratops. Pachyrhinosaurus. Impressed. Camelosaurus. Camelosaurus? That doesn't seem right. Sounds Greek. Not a Greek dinosaur. Hey, you know, AJ, if we're gonna look for Eddie, we need to know what to look for. Good point. Hmm. Maybe that guy will help us. Oh yeah, he looks smart. Let's go. Hi, I'm Park Ranger AJ. Nice to meet you. Park Ranger Andy. Hello, I'm Dino Dave. Dino Dave? That's our kind of guy. Yeah. Welcome to the Harupa Mountains Discovery Center. Right now, we're in front of our Earth Science Museum. Inside, we have some fossils through time. You guys excited to see some fossils? Yeah! yeah. Well, let's go. Great. Whoa. Look at all this stuff. I don't know where to begin. I do. Follow me. So let's begin in the depths of our ocean. Here, on to your right, we have ammonites. They were these squids that lived inside these shells. Now they lived amongst, well, fish and other aquatic life, like you see here on our fish wall. Cool! Stuck in the Green River formation, within these sediment layers, we can uncover a lot of evidence of these living organisms. How do you find fossils? Well, you just gotta survey the land and dig throughout the sediment layers and be extra careful. Fossils are very fragile. So these are found on land where the oceans used to be. Either used to be or were pushed onto land. What, what's that? Well, that is a head of a fish that grew up 20 to 25 feet long. <gasps> Eat the finatna swimming pool. <gasps> Welcome to the Botanical Gardens. Point. Now here we have the California Choya, also known as the jumping cactus. Whoa. Tell us about it. Well, these little barbs are so hooked at a microscopic level that even a tiny brush could just really hook into you. Okay. I'm gonna back away now. Oh, well, we go see some other cactuses, right? Good idea. And we have things that are more terrestrial, things that kind of like to walk their way onto land. Is that a turtle? That is. This is a protostega. It's kind of like an aquatic sea turtle, or an ancient kind, if you want to think of it that way. Kind of neat, huh? Yeah. Well, you can find all sorts of remains of living critters, like... Oh, what's ah. that? Oh, that there, that's dinosaur poop. Fossilized dino poop? Ew! Yes, fossilized poop. You know, you can find a lot of information about dinosaur poop. Usually the color in the fossilized poop can tell you if it's a protein diet or a plant diet. How do you tell that? Well, we know that meat's kind of red with iron. Well, if you look into the copper light here or the fossilized poop, you can see a little bit of red going on. So a lot of these are remains of carnivorous dinosaurs. How are fossils formed? When organic matter is buried and protected underneath the sediment layers, the minerals in the surrounding sediment kind of seep in with the help of water. So as the organic material leaves its body and gets recycled into the environment, the minerals take its place. What's this thing? Well, that kind of looks like a cluster of raptor and bone. Paleontologists have to Dig out each digit and each bone very carefully in order to well, showcase it here in a museum. Cool. Yeah, here's Protoceratops stuck within its matrix. We can lean on over to meat-eating dinosaurs, such an Allosaurus, a three-claw predator. We're familiar. <laughs> this is cool. And this is our Allosaurus. Oh, I don't see it. 
Well, you gotta dig for it. Dig for it? Yes, dig for it. Under this sand, we speculate there's an entire Allosaurus skeleton. We're gonna uncover it using these tools. Cool! Whoa, teeth! Whoa! Yeah, these teeth belong to an Allosaurus. Whoa, I think we found the head! As long as you keep pulling towards you, we can uncover large bodies of it. Did you find something, AJ? Yeah! Looks like we found some ribs over here. Oh, good, I'm starving. <laughs> Park Ranger AJ, what do you think this is? I don't know, maybe the hip? Come check it out. If this is the hip, there must be legs. I think you're right, Park Ranger AJ. You gotta I uncover right. it. Ranger AJ. Thanks, Park Ranger Andy. Oh, another oh. piece. There's a lot here. Another. Sure does look like an Allosaurus we know. Gotta be very gentle when you're getting this close, huh? Yeah. This is the most fun I've had in a long time. I love discovering things. Woo! Success! Well, actually, we're only about 25% done here. 25%? That would be at least a quarter done. And leading out of the dinosaur era, we get the Pleistocene or the Ice Age era, the rise of mammals, like this cave bear, for example. And we have mastodons, or Columbian and woolly mammoths. Here is a tusk we found here in the Harupa Valley. Marvelous thing, very splintery, but as you can see, still preserved within the cast mold in which it was dug. The Columbian mammoth, most notable here, is called Edward, and this is Edward's tusk. Now, Edward is a Columbian species, so he traveled all the way North America, all the way down here to the Harupa Valley. So they roam this very valley? Yes, and if you keep your eyes peeled, you might just see one here at the Discovery Center. Dave said if we look hard enough, we can find a mammoth. Well, then we gotta look harder! Yeah! Park Ranger AJ! Park Ranger AJ! Where is that kid? So, uh, what do you know about mammoths, AJ? Well, I know they're the ancestors of elephants. And they're two stories tall. And that's all I know. Yeah, it's good enough for now. <laughs> We're on an adventure! Yeah! What's that in the background? <gasps> Look! Is that the mammoth? Let's go see. We made it. There he is, Eddie the Columbian Mammoth. Awesome. For a pretty awesome day. You said it. I guess this is the end. <laughs> no, this is the end. Our <laughs> home. Name this one, Park Ranger. All right, you got me. Abraham Lincoln a Saurus. I don't see it.
food. That's it. I should order me and park ranger AJ some food. He'll like that after a nice, uneventful, peaceful stroll around T-Rex Paddock's broken fence. Well, I hope I told him that the fence was broken. Man, I wish I'd known the T-Rex's fence was broken. Maybe he wandered back inside anyway. Well, there's only one way to find out. He's quiet. Let's order some food. Hello, Rexaburger. This is Park Ranger Andy. Yeah, I'd like to order a dino combo, a hatchling meal, and two mega stego mint chip shakes. As for the toys that come with the hatchling meal, you have the ammonite plushies, the ancient amoeba fidget spinner, the flying pteranodon, no, the raptor bone comb? Oh, I know Park Ranger AJ would love the T-Rex toy. You're out of that too? Well, what do you have? The fossil stress ball? Oh, the fossil stress ball, how lame. Fine, I'll take eight. Park Ranger AJ's having a better time than I am. Ah! <laughs> Maybe I should've went out and checked the fence. I work sitting here thinking about food and not having any food. I'll up this dino bar. I bet AJ's out having his nice leisurely afternoon nap. I'm sitting here working hard, waiting for our lunch. Maybe I should call him. Okay. I'll be safe here as long as I'm super quiet. You okay? It sounds like you sprung a leak. I'm hiding. You are? I didn't know we were playing hide and seek. We're not. We have a hungry T-Rex. Well, he ain't the only one who's hungry, so I ordered you and me some food. The good news is I got you a kid's meal. I'm about to become a kid's meal. But the bad news is they were all on the T-Rex toy. I know, I know, buddy. I'm mad too. Whoa, somebody's angry. Don't worry, it's coming. Oh, in fact, I think it's here. Oh boy, oh boy, food is here. I hope you're hungry. Hey, how are you? I got food for you. Thank you very much. You look familiar to me. Were you in Dino Rampage Street? No. I was thinking the same thing about you. Oh. Well, have a great day. I know I will. Now you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the food. I need a place to hide where there's no dinos. Well, that's not the place. There's dinos everywhere. Ah! They forgot the taro nuggets. Huh? I guess I'll just have to order some more. You know, order a couple other things too, just in case AJ's home. go to waste or get cold. I should probably eat this until a fresh one arrives. Hmm. Hmm. I bet AJ's on his way right now. I'm never leaving this spot. Food's here again. Good. I'm starving again. Well, I guess I should go fetch my walk. Hey, that's it. Fetch. Okay, Dino. Go fetch! Wow, can't believe that actually worked. I wonder if he knows that fetch means bring it back. Oh dear, he knows.
I need to think. T-Rexes don't have very good eyesight and they hunt with their smell, so I could shove a stick up its nose. Or I could hide my scent. But with what? Is that Triceratops poop? Oh! Yeah! I don't know if this was such a good idea. Here goes nothing! I got my dino shake and my dino fries and... AJ, I'm coming! AJ, I got the food! Oh, I really hope this works because I don't think I can stand any more dino poop on me! Thanks a lot, Pteranodon. Well, if it was gonna happen, today is definitely the day. Okay, let's see if this works. <sighs> Did I hear Park Ranger Andy? Making a me for me at Park Ranger AJ. Park Ranger Andy, Park Ranger Andy, we've got to get out. Here. Just a guy wanting to see it. Look, sorry about the toy, but... <gasps> it was a spill. Triceratops soup. Now, shh, stay close to me and the T-Rex won't know we're here. Rex's fence was broken. Oh yeah, that's on me. I didn't take my memory pills today. Why? I forgot. Give me eat, I'm starving. Hey, slow down, you're gonna get a headache in your stomach. Okay, but we only got about three more minutes until she comes back with the ball. Oh. doing here park ranger andy this isn't t-rex ranch you're right park ranger aj it's not but it's similar this is reptacular ranch where instead of seeing dinosaurs we're gonna see snakes yes reptiles cool. and tarantulas and camels wait are camels even reptiles i don't know hey what do you think's in a camel's hump coffee i don't know let's go find out yes <laughs> This place is amazing! Magical. Do you think there's dinosaurs in those hills? You never know, Park Ranger AJ. You never know. Hi, I'm Park Ranger AJ. Nice to meet you. And I'm Park Ranger Andy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. I'm Diego. I'm an animal keeper here at Reptacular Ranch. Thank you guys for joining us today. We're so excited to be here. So what animals are we going to be seeing today? So today you guys will be seeing a red tegu. Uh, Asian water monitor, some California desert tortoises. Uh, you guys will be seeing a tarantula, Ugh. a couple of snakes, and I hear you guys are gonna be meeting Kirby the camel. The highlight of my day! Are we gonna see any dinosaurs? So, unfortunately, dinosaurs went extinct a long time ago, but we are gonna get to meet some other descendants. So, come on, I'll show you guys around. Great! Thanks. Super exciting! Oh, water crossing! Uh, guys, there is a bridge. We're on an, an adventure! adventure! All right, Rangers, you guys ready to meet your first animal? Sure! sure. This is the home of Aang, the Asian water monitor. He's a pretty cool lizard. So, without further ado. <gasps> Whoa! Yeah. Usually it does get that reaction. These guys originate in Southeast Asia. They, in nature, are carnivores out in the wild. But in captivity, this guy eats mice, rats, dog food, and veggies. Sounds like you. Eat anything. True to his name, they are excellent swimmers. 
does love water. And they also have a very long tongue that allows him to sense the world around him. So do you guys want to take him out for a walk? Yes! You could do that? Of course. Let's get a harness on him and we'll go out for a walk. Let's go! Nice day for a walk. Yeah, with our lizard buddy. Yeah, enjoying it outside? I think that means yes. What kind of dinosaur do you think that looks like? Looks kind of like a Dimetrodon. I think you're right. The Dimetrodon's tongue is not that long. True. Where do you think he's going now? I think back. All right, maybe we should see some other animals. Yeah. Let's take him back. This is Red Bull, the Red Tegu. Can I hold him? Of course. All right, here you go. So, Red Tegus originate from Argentina. They are arboreal. He does have short stubby legs because of that. Arboreal, of course, means that they like to live on trees and climb on trees and hang out on trees. Red Tegus are a very popular pet in South America and they are very loyal and gentle. Red Bull here is a male, and the way to tell that a male is a male is because of his cheeks. He does have really puffy cheeks, and he is in fact shedding. It's a common thing among reptiles. How long does it take? It usually takes anywhere from a few days to about two weeks. You guys came in at the tail end of it. <laughs> he is almost done. His skin has been replaced but he does still have some signs that it was happening. How old is he? This guy is about 13 years old, give or take. You're a big guy, aren't you? Older than you. Whoa. But you're gonna look like a 13. Can I hold him? Yeah. Oh, come here, little guy. Yeah. Oh. What are we doing? We're just done for the day? Huh? Just gonna relax? It is lunchtime. Whoa, what animal is that? So this is a Euromastix or a spiky tail lizard. These guys originate from the Middle East. This guy is one of the few animals on this planet that does not need any water. Like, like a, a camel. camel! Well, a camel does still need water but this guy gets all his hydration from the bugs that he eats. And these guys are also great weather predictors. So, as you guys can see right now, what color would you say that he is? Brown. Right. Fuchsia. He is gray dull, but as summer comes around and as the weather starts to heat up, he will turn very orange. And as fall rolls around after that, he does turn more yellow. Because it gets colder. How'd you know that? And of course, there is his namesake, his main weapon, his spiky tail. They like to defend themselves from much bigger lizards. You're so cool. <laughs> Speak. No, that's a hole. Oh. Right. Yeah. This is a snake. Cool! What kind of snake is that? So this is Chris, our red tail boa. Hi, Tree. And she's doing exactly what her body was made to do. She's holding on to my body as though it were a tree. These guys are pretty good at climbing. She uh, might start climbing you if you're okay with that. She likes you. Uh, uh, why do I get the oh. part with the head? <laughs> so you're gonna notice she's gonna hold on tight to you, like I said, and she's just pretending your bodies are trees. They're pretty good at holding on. You're gonna feel her muscle curling up around you. I sure um, do. <laughs> Snakes have something called the Jacobson's organ on the roof of their mouth. And that's why they're continuously taking their tongues out to kind of smell their environment. You're also going to notice she's really loving your bodies. You guys are mammals. You're warm-blooded. She doesn't have that privilege, and she's cold-blooded. So she is dependent on her environment temperature, but you guys are nice and warm, so she's going to hold on very, very tight. She likes selfies? She loves selfies. She's pretty good at it. Hey, do a scared one. <laughs> Yay! So 
So this is Marley, and Marley's are all Bino Burmese python. Uh, pretty young. Uh, these guys can get to be over 200 pounds and over 20 feet. Um, so obviously, it's just me holding. He doesn't have any feet. I know. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you guys want to hold? Yeah. Oh, we do? <laughs> Again? Yeah. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Whoa. Marley, look at that tongue. Look at those eyes. Bye, Marley. Oh, that was so fun. Yeah, fun. <laughs> what do you want to do next? Oh, how about the tarantula? Uh, what about the turtles? All right, let's go see the turtles. Yeah. <laughs> turtles! Oh, yeah. Actually, they're tortoises. Meet Leonardo and Michael. What's the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? Uh, turtles are aquatic, tortoises aren't. So you're looking at California desert tortoises. So do they like the heat? They love the heat, yeah. Uh, not too, too hot. It has to be kind of just right. When it gets too, too hot, then they'll go underneath the ground into their little burrows uh, to make sure they escape that heat. Because remember, these guys are cold-blooded. They can't keep their own body temperature like these animals do. Whoa. You know, speaking of desert creatures. I think we're ready to see Herbie. Perfect, follow me. How are you doing, Herbie? Oh, this is so fun. We're gonna give him the proper camel greeting. You can't really shake his hand. Um, you know, you don't you typically do this like you greet a dog, right? But if you blow into their nose, he'll blow right back at you. Everything I imagine. It feels so soft. I would love a pillow out of this. <laughs> get in there, I'll get a picture with you. Give me a profile, like him. Hey, Herbie. Hey, Herbie. Smile. What's in the hump? Oh, thank you for asking. Um, it's not water, because everyone thinks it's water, but it's actually not. Oh. Now look at those lips. They're uh, prehensile <laughs> lips, kind of grabbing on to all of those trees. Thank you. You're Bye. very welcome. Bye. Bye, Herbie. What a nice camel. <laughs> so this is Ursula, and Ursula is a Chilean rose hair tarantula. <laughs> Hi, Ursula. <laughs> Just like the name says it, she's from Chile. She's South American. When do you think we should run? <laughs> <laughs> Never. Don't let this deceive you. She can be fast, but she knows that we're not going to hurt her. Now she has about eight eyes and you think with so many eyes she could see really well, but she can't. So their bodies are covered in hair. That's how they sense their environment. So whether it's vibration in the air, vibration on the ground, she's able to sense all of that. Does it have fangs? She does. Let me show you what that looks like. You see all arachnids have venom. It just depends on the potency, of course. Now look, you can see it right there. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So they need that toxic or that venom in order to kind of liquefy whatever they're eating. See, they don't have teeth like we do. Think of it like a bug slurp. So they kind of melt it in their mouth. Exactly. So they kind of slurp that melted juicy bug. Hey, good job, yeah. Park Ranger AJ. Um, so Park these guys Ranger. are herbivores. So depending on the species of tarantula, they might eat bugs, they might eat frogs or snakes, smaller mammals. So luckily here, we just feed her a good balanced diet of cockroaches and crickets. Hmm, delicious. <laughs> yeah. Now, because the interaction is limited, and I know we don't just want to look at her, right? Yeah. We don't? I need a brave volunteer victim. <laughs> Can I uh, put Ursula on top of your head? She's pretty good at posing. Ah! 
that wasn't so bad. Do you want to do it again? No. That was fun. Yeah, that was one of the best days of my life. That tarantula wasn't that bad. Uh, do you want to do it again? <laughs> no, I don't want to do it again. Well, but we should get back to T-Rex Ranch. Yeah, we've got to feed the dinos. Right, we do. And feed ourselves. That's pretty hungry. I like this idea, Park Ranger AJ. I like this idea. Montebello, Los Angeles. We're inside, there's over 80 animatronic dinosaurs. Let's go compare them to the real dinosaurs at T-Rex Ryan. Great idea, let's go. What do you think VIP means? Very immense predators. Whoa. We're in a jungle. Well, we're not in Montebello anymore. Waterfall. And a cave. Where do you think it leads? I don't know, but it looks scary. Let's go in and find out. Go in? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Me first? Yeah, I've got more life to live. You know what I thought it was going to be. It's dark in here. Let's get our lights out. Good idea. What if the dinosaurs jump out at us? I thought you said they were animatronic. What if it's a jumping animatronic? Shh. Do you hear that? Oh, I think I see something. Whoa. What is it? It's a Coloradosaurus. From when? The Triassic period. We don't have one of those. But we have one of those. A Stegosaurus. And look at the Metrodon, just like the one back at T-Rex Ranch. Except these dinos are much better behaved than our dinos. You said it. Alanosaurus! What else do they got? Look at this big guy. Whoa! Diplodocus! Wow! It could be a hundred feet long! It's a lot of shoes. Look at the spikes on his back. I guess you can't ride him. Oh, that looks like it would hurt. Look how long the tail is. It's almost as long as the rest of this whole body. An Ankylosaurus! Kentrosaurus. It looks kind of like the Ankylosaurus. Look at his face. He's got such a kind little face. Dilophosaurus! He's a fancy dinosaur with that fancy collar. Are you going to go to a fancy tea party? A fancy tea Rex party. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he's terrifying. <laughs> An Allosaurus. Oh! Uh-oh. You know they're carnivores, don't you? Oh, let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, it's okay, buddy. Oh, we got a couple of these. Look at that beautiful head. Oh, <gasps> there's babies! A Carnotaurus! Is that what that is? I thought it was a dragon. Would you rather run into him or the T-Rex? I don't know, they're both pretty scary. Just back up slowly. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. That is a scary dino. He looks like a giant alligator. Yeah! From the Cretaceous period. I'm gonna guess he's a herbivore. Oh, he's a carnivore. He's another scary guy. Uh, He's a... Paradoix. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Oh. Yeah. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Oh. Good boy. Good boy. He likes me. Look at these. Pachycephalosaurus. Those heads look good for ramming people. They look like helmets. What would happen if I did that to you? Not a good idea. What's through here? 
mighty T-Rex. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. So that's it? This is the T-Rex? I remember him being bigger. Yeah, me too. Incredible. A Spinosaurus! Wow, it's gigantic! We have one at T-Rex Ranch, but I don't think it's this big. No, but we've never been this close to it. Usually it's very far in the distance. Think it's bigger than a T-Rex? I don't know, let's find out. Larger than T-Rex, Spinosauruses were the largest carnivorous dinosaur. Its name comes from the large fin on its back, which was probably a display feature. Spinosaurus hunted fish along the shore and smaller prey like infant dinosaurs and adult park rangers. Whew. Park rangers? Oh, no, just kidding. Well, nice to meet you, Mr. Spinosaurus. Let's go. Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzal. 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 Quetz
I think I'm on the third level. <laughs> this is so much fun. Yeah, it's so lifelike. Are you sure there aren't any real dinosaurs? Oh yeah, this is all virtual. There is absolutely, positively, 100% no real dinosaurs at all. Whoa. <laughs> He's got some dry skin, Park Ranger. You know, it's funny, I was thinking the same thing about you. Wait, but I'm over here. You are? <gasps> ah! 